All right, hello, high society, where the HI stands for happy and short. I am Nicole, and I am really excited today to talk to you about the upcoming storm season. Well, actually, I'm not too happy to talk about it, you know, but I'm happy that they finally have released what should be happening this upcoming storm season because we've been waiting a while. Um, you know, of course, now it's early April, so we have a little bit of time to prepare for all of my homeowners out there. So this is really great information. As you know, the hurricane season is from June until November. So you will have some uh, time to prep as well as uh, make sure that those homeowners policies are up to par how you need them to fully protect yourself and your property. So let's look at this. So we have, uh, this is coming from Business Insurance. I absolutely love this website. So definitely check them out, businessinsurance.com. And this, the title here, let me see if they have the title. I want to show you so that way you can go ahead and find it. It's, it's Extremely Active Atlantic Hurricane Season Forecast. And this is brought to us by Colorado State University Department of Atmospheric Science. Okay, so they do predict an extremely active 2024 Atlantic Basin hurricane season, which will likely include U.S. storm landfall. Well, so, you know, that's not good news to all my people down in Florida who have been hit over the years. Also, people in Texas or along the uh, Gulf Coast. So this, uh, if you are in those particular areas or regions, you definitely need to make sure you pay attention to this particular video. Also, share it with your family and friends who also may be uh, potentially affected this year. The forecast calls for 23 named storms compared with the 1991 through 2020 average of 14.4. So just right there, this is very alarming because this is definitely higher than usual. 11 hurricanes are forecast against an average of 7.2, with five tabbed as major hurricanes over an average of 3.2, according to the forecast data. The probability of a major Category 3, 4, or 5 hurricane landfall along the entire continental U.S. coastline is 62%, with the average from 1880 through 2020 at 43%. So, you know, if you're just really thinking about what we've, potential, what we've already had in the past, where we've actually had landfalls, and that was with 43%, you can pretty much rest assured that this landfall will in fact happen this year sadly it's just it's, it's just gonna happen now where is it gonna happen that's the question so let's talk about where they're thinking it's gonna happen the probability of a major uh category three four or five hurricane landfall along the u.s east coast including Pensil uh, peninsula florida south and east of cedar key florida is 34 percent against a longer average of 21 percent Okay, so that's a little higher there. The probability for a hit along the Gulf Coast from the Florida Panhandle west and north of Cedar Key, Florida, westward to Brownsville is 42% compared with an average of 27%. And I can definitely say that they are ramping up, uh, you know, to get everything in position for adjusters who are... Uh, I should say qualify, but also have passed the test for TWIA because there's just certain, um, there's differences there, you know, if you're being an adjuster, adjusting homes that are along the coast. So you have to be certified. And, you know, to me, in my opinion, they've made it easier to be certified. They basically stated if you already certified in 2023, all you had to do is basically test out. Um, as long as you pass within the three attempts, you did not have to repeat the entire course over for 2024. That has never happened. So I'm not really sure why that is this particular year. I'm not sure if a lot of seasoned adjusters have retired or have left um, the industry. It sounds like they need adjusters, um, you know, it sounds like they're hurting for adjusters. So they're making the qualifications a little bit easier. And that's just my opinion. I could be wrong. But it also is alarming because it lets me know that, um, you know, Texas just might receive a hurricane later this year. Sea surface temperatures in the eastern and central Atlantic are at record warm levels and anticipated to remain well above average for the upcoming hurricane season, providing a more conducive dynamic and thermodynamic environment for hurricane formation and intensification. Current El Nino conditions are likely to transition to La Nina conditions during the summer and fall, leading to hurricane favorable wind shear conditions. So 
these are going to be some very strong winds. Um, so definitely make sure your policies cover winds. I could definitely see that happening um, for sure once these hurricanes come in. Even if you receive minimal water, da water damage, that wind can still be damaging to your home. We anticipate a well above average probability for major hurricanes making landfall along the continental United States coastline and the Caribbean. So my people in the Caribbean, you know, take note of this as well. If you have family and friends, definitely please share this with them. Okay, because we have um, a greater chance of having landfalls this year. Coastal residents are reminded that it only takes one hurricane making landfall to make it an active season. Exactly, right? <laughs> it doesn't matter if there's, if, if, you know, there's 10 or 20, if none of them really make landfall, they're just out to sea, you know. So what is a, a, an active hurricane season? But if one of those make landfall and there are three, four, or five, and especially if it devastates your home or your neighborhood, your region, your state, then it's definitely um, going to be tragic. So I want everyone to definitely take a look at their homeowners policies. I know in Florida, this is the conversation of the day. Of course, y'all's rates out there are just scary. Uh, in some instances, it has doubled 100%, if not more. I mean, it's really crazy, right, with these hurricanes. So, you know, I pray that uh, hurricanes don't hit out there because these insurance rates are just getting out of control. But whatever you can do to, um, you know, first of all, make sure you will be insured. Uh, definitely check uh, your company. Make sure that they are in a great position, that they're not going to go out of business. I remember FedNAT uh, sent in uh, a letter literally the day before, I believe it was what, Hurricane Irma? And now I'm getting confused with all these hurricanes. I believe it was Hurricane Irma they sent out a notification and stated that, um, hey, the day before, yeah, you're not insured anymore. So all these poor homeowners thought they were insured and then received uh, a letter the day before. So, you know, just kind of keep along, keep up with how your insurance company is doing, how that carrier is doing, making sure they're not going to go insolvent, making sure their financials are intact. How are they paying their claims? Are they good at paying claims? Start to look at those reviews because you're not in a situation right now, but other people may be in a situation. You want to see how their claims are being handled. So start to take a look at that. And if you have to shop around for a better carrier while you can get approved, definitely do that. Um, so I just really appreciate y'all tuning in today. Definitely like, subscribe, comment on our video. We are growing our channel, especially right now. Like I said, we're headed into a busy month, especially beginning next month uh, towards the end of next month with the hurricane season. So it's going to be so many updates just regarding weather. Uh, but outside of that, we definitely cover everything from life insurance, health insurance, um, you know, property casualties. So you definitely want to tune in. Thanks so much. And y'all have a great day.